is an email I got from the tax office. It's going to help us work out what these skills are. Should I click on this phrase that was on the email? Complete formula. I'm going to give you two minutes to list as many indicators of credibility as possible. The positive indicators are reasons why you believe this email. There's also negative indicators, reasons why you wouldn't believe it, why you think that they might be trying to get money from me. So you're going to have a list of positives and a list of negatives. <laughs> Stop after you've read, read out your four positives and others will contribute, okay? And then we'll do the same with the next logo of the Australian government, Australian taxation of the ATO.gov.au. Yes, under copyright of the Australian. Yeah. There's no undisclosed recipient. What did you just do? Especially the two minutes from when I said go to stop, but even in this conversation that it hit up with brainstorm vision, observing of data. Yes, and now the data set. That, that evaluation of saying, hang on, that doesn't make sense. You know, we spent two minutes on it. You might do that in your mind in five or ten seconds when you get these emails because you're used to them. But if it's something that's not familiar, sometimes we have to go through this process. But as it gets into literature and university, and you're doing your own research methodologies, then it gets more and more complex, and you spend not, not minutes or hours, but maybe days and weeks. Because the process is similar, but you're, you're adding cycles <coughs> and add on um, rigor and discernment. <laughs> well, yeah, people talk to each other, didn't they? So what's the word we'd use for that? <laughs> yes, you were organizing. You were in the active process of putting, that's important, that you have a, a, a systematic way of organization in your studies. That you don't just read and read, you might have five readings and you just come back you've got this mass of undifferentiated notes to have a process saying well I'm looking for some specific things I set you a very clear direction for that task it was highly prescribed highly structured so you, you knew exactly what to do but in university often you won't have that exact clarity you'll have to make a lot more decisions you'll have to make decisions about what information to pull out. So you need to be organizing. What we've found in terms of the skills associated with research, that is the things we do for when we're researching. And we remember we use this word facet like a diamond. We're saying that there's six different sides to research and you've shown all of those six sides. One is that we have to embark and clarify. It's not just about effort but it's about barking up the right tree, it's about being clear, go through the hard slog of evaluating others' information. Like the tax office, often your conclusions are much more sophisticated and complex, but they won't be very rigorous and sound if you haven't gone through all the embarking and clarifying, finding and generating, evaluating and reflecting, organising and managing. So you, you need to do that, um, all those at a high level to get good synthesis. So that you've got something worth communicating. You have these skills. So why are you at university? Well, to see those skills mature, richen, deepen. You'll be learning content, sure. But did you go through those steps in order when you did the tax office for the two minutes? Yeah. Well, I thought this is the research we developed framework that packages all that together. So what we just worked through then really is this framework. Particularly, we started you showed me through the tax office, you've got these six facets on the left. They're the six facets of research. 